I was going to share with you some of my take-home points, but we all want to go home, so I'll just share the most important ones. Um, first, I learned that science is a challenge, but only there can we find firm ground. And what we need is multi-component guidelines. There is substantial consensus on quite a few points, and we should take the opportunity to move forward, not just discussion, but also policy-wise. And in the absence of official guidelines provided to health professionals, the advice they give to patients may vary. But actually, I wanted to continue with uh, some points taken from the same report Marianne, Marianne was talking about. These are not verbatim, but they are points relevant to the topics today. Um, the report points out that to make rational choices, consumers have to be fully informed about the characteristics of what they consume, the benefits they will derive, and the risks they will be exposed to. Translating research findings on the health effects of alcohol used into messages for the general public is a major challenge. Not all countries have drinking guidelines. When available, guidelines often leave much to be desired in terms of clarity and consistency. Most people remain unaware of what constitutes low-risk drinking or what risks they incur when drinking, which likely makes them more prone to the influence of messages conveyed by the popular media and commercial advertising. And then the final point I wanted to remind you about is the European Code Against Cancer, which is an example of uh, international cooperation. It was first published in 1987, and it was the result of an initi initiative by the European Commission. The recommendations for reducing re the risk of cancer are updated to take into account new evidence. The latest update in 2014 changed the recommendation concerning alcohol. Before, the recommendation was, if you drink alcohol, moderate your consumption to two drinks per day if you're a man, or one drink per day if you're a woman. This is roughly the current low risk guideline in Finland. But after the review of research and updating, the message is now, no alcohol is better for cancer prevention. If you drink, nevertheless, limit your intake. And this uh, review of research and updating is coordinated by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which is part of the World Health Organization. And the process has been funded under the EU Health Programme. So international cross-border cooperation is possible, and where there is a will, there is a way. Thank you.